Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 51 of my FIFA 15 My Player Career on the Xbox One. First game up today is an away game and in fact it's at Wembley Stadium. So we're travelling down to London for the Community Shield against Tottenham Hotspur. Hopefully the first trophy of the new season of course. Transfer window is open. We're still trying to move away from Manchester United and guys, to give you the heads up, we do manage to move away to another club. And in fact, another country. But we'll find out who that is later on in this episode. Um, the file actually corrupt. My original episode 51, the file corrupts. So I've only got the first half of that um, recording to show you. And we get to miss, unfortunately, the, the debut for Kai at his new club. So it's a bit of a shame, but I managed to salvage what I could from that footage. And this is what it is right now. I know the quality is a little bit less than normal. But it will fix itself in the second half of this episode. But there we go. First goal of this game. It took 75 minutes to go, to come. And who was it? Is it Valencia? Is that who scored? I don't even know who scored. Wasn't paying attention. Or was it Wilfred Zaha? I think it was Zaha, wasn't it? Wilfred Zaha scoring for Manchester United. And hopefully that will be enough to help us lift this trophy. It'll be a good way to go out when we leave United. But who are we going to be going to? Any ideas? Any ideas? What country do you think it's going to be, guys? It's a bit shitty that the file corrupts. I'm a bit, I was a bit annoyed um, about it. That's why the video didn't go up on Friday. So I had a lot of salvaging to do. And there is the final whistle. Spurs nil, Manchester United won. Wilfred Zaha with the only goal of the game. And we're going to lift the trophy shortly. There we go. There are the Manchester United players. Kyle Coleman Jr. picking up another medal. There are the guys. Community Shield winners, Manchester United, and that may be Kaikon's final game for United before he heads off to a different club. But we're not moving away just yet. We've got Chelsea in the first game of the new season, first Premier League game. And Kai not being chosen by the manager. He knows that he's on his way out. Can Man United start the season off with a victory? Skip. Yes, they do. A good victory as well. 3-1 winners there. Hazard. Scoring for Chelsea, not Eden Hazard, it was actually his brother. And a transfer offer, here we go then, from Italy, it's from Lazio. Do I accept? They're offering £70,000 a week. Do I stall? Do I accept? Do I reject? I think I'm going to stall this one. Um, and see if any more offers come in. Lazio would be a great team to join. Um, but would I get first team chance there? I'm not sure. Possibly, I think I might do. Let's show them not as big as they used to be. And look at this second game of the new season. This time against Arsenal. Man United at home. Should get the three points. Be good if we do. Because we've already beat Chelsea in the first game. Skip. And we do get the victory. Wilfred Zaha scoring a game for United. That's three points. Six out of six then in the league for United. That should put us top of the league. And then we've got Manchester City in the third game. Which Kai Kwon Jr. is being rested for again. Not being chosen in the first three games of the new season. That is one of the main reasons why I, I had to go. Can we get three out of three? No, Manchester City win that one. The fans won't be happy about that result. Negredo with the only goal of the game. Giving Manchester City the three points. And we've got another transfer offer for us just before the Real Madrid match. This time it's by Napoli. They're offering £70,000 a week as well. And guys, this is where we're going. We are going to accept this offer. Confirm the contract. We're, go we're heading to Italy. The first time I've played for an Italian club in FIFA 15. And there we go. Kai Kwon Jr. to make Napoli debut. Welcome to the team, says the manager. I hope you settle in quickly and enjoy your time here. Well, so do I, sir. So do I. There's the current league objectives then for Kai Jr. He wants me to create 50, uh, 23 goals. Whether I'm setting them up or popping them in myself. And I want you to, to create 69 chances. And look at that, straight away, first game, we're going to get our debut. It's going to be Genoa, but this is where the file corrupted, guys, unfortunately. So, we play this game and we play another game, but we don't miss much. I will tell you now that both games finish nil-nil. I don't have the greatest debuts. So, let's just get this one started and then it will fade into the second episode that I actually recorded, which originally would have been episode 52. And there's Kai Jr. warming up for his debut. And, but like I said, he had a quiet debut. No goals for either team in this game. And there was no goals in the second game either. So thankfully, we didn't miss a lot. Kai Kwon Jr. still looking for his first goal. And we'll just have a look back here just to prove 
It finished 0-0. Uh, it was an away draw. And then the first game against Genoa, as you saw, also finished 0-0. And that was the home game. We also went past transfer deadline date. But obviously, we've already made our, our move to Italy. So nothing missed on that date either. But now, we are back to normal. Hopefully, no more errors. El Gato, please save me. And we did do a squad report as well in the original 51. So I had to do it again. And here we go with the Napoli squad report then. See if they've still got their big players. Gigino, 29 years old, valued at 14 million, 84 overall. David Lopez, 31 years old. Oh, Hamzik's still here. He's 34 now, though. Overall rating of 87. Callahan, he's 34. Kaikom Jr., 22 years old. Manchester United sold me for 7.5 million. And who else is here? Who is still at this Italian club? Have they bought anybody else in? Come on, next player please. Why is it stalled? There we go. Duvan Zapata, he's 30 years old. Stefan Savic is here, he's leaving at the end of the season it seems. Roberto Firmino has that something special, he's 29 years old now, valued at 90 million. Insigne. Higuain still here as well. He's now 33 years old, 85 overall. And then I think Luke Garbutt, is he English? And then we've got the bunch of youngsters at the team. So Napoli's still got a fairly decent side. Not the greatest, of course, but hopefully we do get to play more games and hopefully a good, successful season ahead of us. So first official game that we're going to be able to witness for Kai Jr. It's his third game for Napoli, but can he have a good game today? Playing on the left side of Hamsik, Insigne on the right side. And let's see how Kai Kwon gets on. It's Europa League. Napoli versus Red Bull Salzburg of Austria, I believe that it, they are. And it's going to be Salzburg to kick this game off then. We are at home in front of the home fans. Let's go and get the victory if we can. Nice challenge there, almost winning the ball for the Italian side. Kaiju is pushing up. Here he is. He's playing on the left side of, I'd say, three cams. I guess you could call it that. I wouldn't really say he's a winger right now in the tactics that Napoli play. That's a good ball on the right side. We've got three in support in the box. Far post. Volley. Hamzik nowhere near the goal. Not even on target. Should have done better. He had much more time. Nobody was really near him. And that was horrible play by the Napoli captain there. Kai Kwon Jr. not happy at all, as you saw. So into the second half, and it's still goalless. Is it going to be a third goalless draw in a row for Kai Kwon in his time at Napoli? Hopefully not. Hopefully we can steal a goal here. But it's Salzburg in possession. They're the ones threatening right now on this left side. Still going. Cross comes in. Far post. Oh, and he's been taken down there. He took the guy out who got the cross in. And it's a red card. Second yellow for number 30, Cab. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the rest of his name. I'm just going to call him Cab. There you go. He's off. So, Napoli down to 10 men. Not the greatest start for Kai Kwon in his Napoli career. But with the slow start, it's got to get better, no doubt. And that one's headed away. Come on. We don't want to be losing in the Europa League. We've had more possession so far. Not in the last five minutes, though. It's been all Salzburg. And now they're attacking again on this left side. Played forward. Don't take him out. We don't want another red card. We'll play. We win the ball. But it's going to go out for a Salzburg throw here. And with less than 15 minutes to go, they've won themselves a free kick. They've still been pressurising for the most of this second half. Cross comes in. And cleared away. No. Is that a penalty? No, it's a free kick. It's going to be a free kick here to Napoli. And another booking. This time for a Salzburg player. Jordi Reyna with that yellow card. Just over 10 minutes to go. And Kai Kwon Jr. has been substituted. So hopefully Napoli could get a winner in that last 10 minutes without Kai Kwon. And we've got Roma next up in Serie A. And there's Jovino Giv still at Roma. Midday kickoff. 19th of September 2021. Stadion Olympic. Come on Napoli. Come on Kai Kwon. We want a better performance. He's not enjoying his time just yet. Into his fourth game. But he needs time to settle. I'm sure he'll be okay. After a couple of weeks with Napoli. And here is Hamsik. Plays it to Kai Jr. Come on, keep going. 
Cross. Cuts it back. Does get the cross in. And header. Oh, Firmino. Yes, we've scored. I'm not sure if Kai Kwon Jr. will actually get the assist for that because Firmino touched it. I'd say he controlled it, but it's just a missed touch on the header. And there he is with the half volley to score the first goal of the game. Three and a half minutes gone. It's Napoli 1, Roma 0. And we've got a couple of minutes to go in this first period. And it's Roma in possession with David Alaba. Javino. Alaba's carried on run. His run. And he gives it back to Javino. And Alaba didn't run then. But he was held off. So Roma are going to get themselves a free kick here. A good chance to equalise just before the half-time period. And it's David Alaba who's going to swing one in. Comes in. Header. Oh, it's in off the base of the post. And it's Javino with the equaliser for Roma. So at the break, it's going to be Napoli 1, Roma 1. We've got 45 minutes of the second half to try and find a winner from somewhere. Let's see if Kaikon Jr. can get on that score sheet. And we've played an hour. Roma on the attack again, looking to go in front themselves. That's going to go out for a corner. Insigne's come on in place of Hamsik. And cross comes in. Far post, headed away. Where's Kai Jr.? There he is. He's in the middle. Keep it in. Play me forward. Oh, it's just gone out for a throw in to Roma. And I think there's going to be a substitution here. There is. Kai Kwam Jr. goes off again. So still working on his fitness. He didn't have the greatest preseason. Still working on his fitness. So hopefully he will be back. We're being rested for this game though. Away to Sampdoria. Come on, Napoli. Let's get the three points, boys. Big rain up front. And it's a 1 1 draw. Callahan coming on to save the day, giving us the point. And we've got AC Milan next up for Napoli. Kai Jr. back in the side. He's rested. So let's see if he has an impact on this game. It'll be a great game too. Have an impact against one of the biggest sides in Italy. Playing on that left side. Napoli versus AC Milan at the Stadion Olympic. Let's get three points, boys. It's going to be AC Milan to kick off with Traore. Menez is playing for Milan. Who else has Milan got? Pellerano. Poli played forward to Jeremy Menez. Are they going to go on an early attack and try and get, get an early goal? Here's Poli again. Treore. Nice ball forward. Menez It's blocked and get it away. Insigne does clear. And now here's Kai Jr. Seven minutes gone. Still goalless. Napoli keeping possession. Callahan playing it to Kai Jr. He's playing more centrally right now. He should be on the left side, but he's actually on the right. He plays it down the right wing. Pushes more centrally. Cross comes in. Head up. Ooh. Callahan just heading over the bar. And the score remains 0-0. After 10 and a half minutes. Goal kick to AC Milan. Rain's falling. Making it a little bit slippy on the pitch. Come on, Lopez. Thump it upfield. Kakon's currently on a 5.5 rating. And so we're going to the final 15 minutes of this first half. Headed away. Go on, Kai. Make it yours. Or even better, run forward. Got one defender. Good touch. Go on, has he got enough pace to keep going? Shoot, shoot. Oh, great challenge by the defender. Should have been a goal. He's just not fast enough yet, Kai Jr. And it's going to be a corner, though, to Napoli. Still a chance here to go in front. Kai Jr.'s picked up a yellow card, I've just noticed as well. And Napoli still in possession. Kai Jr. keeps it more central. Insigne got some space, plays it forward. Good save again from Diego Lopez. But I think he was actually offside, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. And into the final 15 minutes of the game. Still Napoli nil, AC Milan nil. Kai Jr. going to attack on the left wing. Got some support in the middle. Good play. Cross comes in. Near post, head up. Is it the crossbar? And the second shot there goes wide, hits the side net in. And it's still goalless. Unlucky there. Should have put that header in if it wasn't for the crossbar. Here's Insigne. Kai Kwon Jr. Giving it to Diego Lopez. Now Higuain tries to turn and shoot, but it was blocked. And it looks like it's going to end 0-0. Not many goals to shout off today, guys. Hopefully more tomorrow. We want Kai to settle more quickly than he has done. But there you go. Final whistle blows. Napoli 0. AC Milan 0. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!